sea lion populations in at least two coastal Oregon towns have rocketed to unheard of numbers. But what might seem like an irresistible photo op for tourists is posing a big problem for almost everyone else on the docks. Current populations are estimated to be around 2,300. That's up 1,000 from last year and more than 10 times higher than the 200 estimated to be around in 2010. What's contributing to the recent surge of sea lion population? Well, experts believe that it's due to the resurgence of the Columbia River smelt run. But regardless of the cause, this port is ill-equipped to handle the sheer numbers and weight of the sea lions, which haul up on docks, rocks, and any place accessible in and out of the water. They've broken gangways to the docks, destroyed underwater power, destroyed water lines, and made a huge mess of the docks. As if the damage, noise, and smell were not enough, there is now a new frustration. Commercial salmon season has opened, and as everyone knows, sea lions love their salmon. Fishermen are reporting that fish come in all the time that have been bit by sharks or sea lions, and nobody wants them, and it has basically no monetary value. There is relief on the horizon, however. The 1st of May, they'll go back to the breeding colonies in the Channel Islands just off California. I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening.